I got a few questions on solving this problem with evidence, so I thought I would make this video to explain how to do that. In this circuit, we want to find the evidence equivalent here at A and B. Okay. First step to get our evidence is to turn off all of the independent sources. So what does that mean for a voltage source? If a voltage source is turned off, then we replace it with a short circuit. And if it's a current source, then we replace it with open circuit. Okay, so what does that mean for this circuit here? If we redraw, it's going to be this 5 ohm resistor is not going to be affected this source would be affected and it would be open an open circuit here which means there is no longer this branch uh, as part of the circuit then what's next so we're covered here we're covered here what's next 14 14 ohm and this so if we turn it off it's going to be a short so just a wire and then we have the 6 ohm and then this would be open so it's no longer this branch is no longer here this is 6 ohm okay so r7 in is the r equivalent looking here right at terminals a and b so in that case r7 in is equal to 14 in series with six and they are both in parallel right because the result of these combinations here is what is in parallel with five so in parallel with five which equals 20 parallel five which equals what 20 times five over 20 plus and the answer is 4 ohms so to find V7n we turn back all of the resource the sources back on and choose whatever method of analysis that we find easier so you could choose noted analysis or mesh analysis I noticed that students like mesh analysis so you can stick with mesh if you if you like if it's not mentioned which method to use, right? So, um, before we do the analysis, what do you notice here? To make this problem simpler, you can use source transformation to transform this and this into, um, into a voltage source in series with a resistor. So for this one, what would it be? let's say this is the resistor 5 ohm and then what's the what will be the voltage source it will be remember v equals i r right so the current is 3 and the resistance is 5 so this would be 3 times 5 is 15 15 volts what about the direction? So it's going downward, so it's going to be minus plus. Okay. Let's do this one here. Resistor 6 ohm, and then the voltage source. What is the direction? It's going to be plus minus because the arrow is pointing upwards. So this is plus and minus what is the value v equals ir which is one times six so it's six volts now the circuit looks like this five ohms minus plus 15 and then 14 ohms 
plus minus 14 volts and then 6 ohms plus minus 6 volts this is your A and this is B and to do the analysis this is your ground and what now there's a current here call it I minus 6 right because the first the first sign you see is minus so minus 6 plus 6 I minus 14 plus 14 I plus 5 minus 15 equals 0 plus 5 I okay and the signs will be plus minus plus minus plus minus so now reduce this what would you have you have minus 6 minus 14 and minus 15 so minus 35 and then 6 14 and 5 plus 25 I equals zero. So I is equal to 35 over 25 and that is 1.4 ampere. We found now the current in this loop. Now that we have the current which goes through this loop we can find the voltage drop across the 5 ohm resistor. So what would the voltage drop here be? V equals IR. So the voltage here will be 1.4 times 5, 7 volts. Okay. And now V7N is what? The voltage here and here right so what's between those two terminals you have 7 volts and then minus 15 right this is the polarity here plus minus and this is minus plus so v a b or v 7 n is what it is 5 plus minus 15 minus 15 Sorry, it's not 5, it's 7, right? It's 7. This is the voltage drop here, 7. Plus minus 15, which is minus 8 volts. Okay? So this is your V7. And let's draw our equivalent circuit. What's our R7N? We found it earlier to be 4 ohms. And then plus minus, this is A, this is B. What's our V7N? Minus 8 volts. You can also say it is 4 ohms. And then switch the polarity, right, to get rid of the minus minus plus it still means the same thing a b and this is 8 volts what would be the Norton uh, current if if you were to do the Norton equivalent it would be a source transformation of this one right and what would be the current i equals v over r which is what? Which is minus 8 over what is your R4? So minus 2 ampere. 